Hello everyone, this will be the review of game 12 Labors of Hercules 7 Fleecing the Fleece. Um, this is already seventh part of the same game on the same engine and the studio is pretty good at making those games. They also made um, Alicia Quartermain and uh, Archimedes and to be honest I liked Archimedes the most because it was slightly different. It was more um, a waiting game with planning your production rather than frantic clicking but all those games use very similar engine and very similar idea it's generally a frantic arcade um, resource management game with quite a lot of levels and a little bit of uh, unlocks achievements and uh, additional elements generally th those games last for quite a, l a long time because you can try to um, finish every level to the best of, of your ability to, to get the three stars and unlock the final uh, like 100% completion or you can just try to beat it uh, for the sake of it just to be, uh, go fast through all the levels and just beat the game in general uh, it has extras, extras is just wallpaper so it's nothing special uh, when it comes to controls we have sliders which is very useful we also have full screen uh, too bad there is no resolution but we can at least uh, check the game right now when I'm recording so this helps and game cursor or, no, uh, or normal system cursor so that's not much but at least it's there uh, okay so if we go to the game uh, we have our profile as always I will try to uh, check uh, all stuff aside from the game as well Alright, so this is just uh, probably leaderboards. Yeah, seems like leaderboards. Not very useful, but it's there. Uh, maybe I'll check the other one. What is this? Total scores. Ah, yeah, this is the general. Okay, so I have some total score. Probably it's uh, not between players. It looks like this is uh, in game. It doesn't seem to be connected to internet, but at least you can, you know, compare your score to something, to some pre made numbers uh, achievements uh, yeah it just opens steam with achievement there is some achievement so whatever uh, you can do those if you want let me just go back to game uh, turtle castle this is basically where you add stuff uh, after you beat the levels i, I think it's uh, added when you do it on three stars so then you unlock one more element so it's just for completionists uh, if you beat every level fully then you get this reward you also have short uh, Animated, well, not animated, it's mostly just pictures um, in between cutscenes. And the base meat of the game is the levels, which there is probably around 50 of. We have those um, five worlds, and uh, in one world we can count on around 10 levels. And then there is also puzzles. If you um, find puzzle pieces, you can try to also do the puzzle for every. Uh, 10 of them. So another thing for completion is as you can see I made a couple of um, those um, levels for 3 stars. I also didn't unlock the bonus level. Probably this is done after you do the puzzle and then you have achievements. So I apparently maybe did some of them probably not all of them but you can slowly just unlock uh, everything. So it's quite a lot of content in general. Uh, the only problem, well there's two problems. One problem is that those games are very similar, so if you like them, of course, you will want to play them, but uh, they are more like um, DLC pack than an actual new game, because they are all very, very similar. Uh, every part is just like the other, but it has different levels, you know, and more of the same, generally. So, as a whole package, yeah, that's a lot of gameplay, but uh, if you want something original, not really. It's just another iteration of the same thing. The other problem might be just the genre. You might not like the genre because it's uh, very specific. It's very arcadey, not very complicated, very frantic. Uh, Archimedes is just a bit better. It's more about uh, some, sometimes selling buildings, getting uh, resources, uh, more about thinking. This is just frantic uh, gameplay. So I'm going to show you one level which I didn't play yet and I'm going to sum up after this one. Alright, um, let me just check. Okay, four minutes, not so bad. Alright, so generally a level starts with some task, we have to use switch and to do that, uh, let me just check, ah oh, no, okay, difficulty level, whatever. Alright, so first you have to locate where you're starting, I think we're starting from here, from this tent, 
And now we just frantically click on everything that is available, gathering resources. And there's a little bit of waiting because some stuff is uh, slowly being regained, then you can take it again. So just click whatever is uh, available, like this is available, this is available, this is available again. Very fast pace of the game. It just goes like this, you eventually make it to the point of... Uh, well, interest in this level, which in this case, I don't know what I'm supposed to probably do one of those uh, switches. To do that, of course, we have to beat all, uh, every obstacle on the way there. So we have to get all the resources. For instance, here we need uh, wood and food. We have uh, food, we don't have wood, so we have to wait for wood. For instance, just to do this one thing, you can click it on the advance as well. Like this, and basically you wait, you wait, but generally after you wait a little bit, it's again frat frantic clicking. Like this is every few seconds, you have to click those. You can also click these to get more loot from every um, location. After this is done, you can already click this one to just grab. Again, I have to click those two uh, because there is the timer running, right? So if you want to do it on a perfect score, you have to do it uh, very quickly in a good um, sequence, which generally the sequence is a problem. If you do it in the wrong sequence, you won't be making it fast enough, you will not be able to beat the timer. You will progress, but you won't have full uh, completion, so we have to replay the level. Alright, so generally this is it, this is it, you just click all that stuff, some stuff is just collecting resources, which there is three of, and some stuff is unlocked after you spend resources which sometimes generates uh, more resources, sometimes it unlocks the path, and sometimes it's a part of the objective. So basically that's how it works. I'm gonna finish the level, and then we'll sum up, I guess. It's a bit too loud, but I can probably make it... Uh, let me check the options. No, I don't wanna quit. Settings, okay, less sound, like this, and now it goes okay. So I can comment without all the sound, the noise in the background. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm doing now. I would have to probably... Uh, well, that's the problem. If you pause it, you cannot uh, look around, right? I'm not sure what I should be focusing on. Like, this needs... Uh, yeah, it needs gold. I'm not sure what I'm getting gold from. There is one, but I'm not sure that's enough. I can do this, but yeah, it's just obelisk. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is needed. Those make, uh, for instance, a lot of wood. So we might have, yeah, we might have a lot of wood now. We can speed it up and then spend some. Maybe those make, yeah, those make food and those make wood. So we, we now kind of have uh, food and wood. Not sure if we will be needing something else. For this we need a lot of wood, right? So we need to get four more. I'm trying to do just everything that's available, mostly focusing on uh, clicking the food and wood. Those probably give twice as much, or three times as much, I'm not sure about this. It kind of increases, maybe it's plus one, I'm not sure how exactly it works, it doesn't say. But it's generally uh, increasing our gains, so we can finish faster something. Of course I might be doing it in a probably uh, wrong sequence, which is very likely. To master it, you would probably need to do it perfectly. Like you know where to click and when, in which order to do everything, maximizing the generation of resources. And then you can probably do it in time. Not sure why we do those dice things. They need, yeah, we could get f uh, gold from them. I'm not sure if we need this much gold. Why would we need 15 gold? Maybe a bad idea. What is this one? Yeah, we can upgrade it. Not that I want. I should do this basically. One more. Okay, we can upgrade it. But it's just one more guy. I'm not sure we need one more guy. I think we need more resources, generally. Okay, let's unlock this. For this we need food, which we have, but we can get even more, just in case. Let's try to go this way. Uh, at the same time, uh, getting those. Getting those resources. Maybe we can just click this, right? It's possible. We can take this, we can do this. For that we need uh, gold, which we have. Maybe I have too much gold, it's also possible. 
and the timer is running out slowly. I'll try to click it. Can we click it? Well, we can. I'm not sure if this finishes the game already. It's possible I did too much. Okay, I clicked it, and then what? Something happens. Oh, this opens. Uh, okay, so this path opens. Probably it's about... Okay, this is 10. Uh, 10 gold to open it. And now we do this, and then what? If we do this one, the other switch, then what happens? By the way, there isn't much choices here. You just do, st do stuff, and it progresses. Okay. So this moved, we can take it, for that we need, ah yeah, for that we need gold, I get it. So we do need gold, that's a problem. We have to make those dice anyway, there is no way around it. So two of these, we should get some money, I'm not sure if we are generating money from anywhere, probably not. Yeah, so it's connected. To get gold we need... Uh, food, so we need to collect food anyway, and then get gold from those dice. And after that, maybe that's not enough even. I'm not sure. Maybe now we get more gold from them. That would be eight. Should be enough, right? It says this eight. Yeah, that's enough. And we're almost there. Now this guy is busy. I just want to click the switch as fast as possible. I'm not sure we can make it. Maybe I should have upgraded the tent, but I'm not sure about it. Uh, it might be the end of the level. It's possible. Yeah, it is. I guess it is. Yeah, the, the ship moves and it should finish. Okay, let's... Can we collect? No. Okay. So this was actually three stars. It took us... Um, I'm not sure. Probably not less than five minutes. That was the, the game, right? Because gold time is five minutes and there is a bonus, so probably it was... 429 but it doesn't say okay so then you go to map uh, maybe you check this high score what does it say it says nothing we just made it anyway and uh, develop a record yeah they made it better so we can try to beat it not sure what's the point of this score also we didn't find the puzzle because i was too busy to, uh, making progress i didn't collect the puzzle but you can if you want to all right so go to map and then it goes right uh, we unlock another part of the castle, we move one step further in the path and then uh, right, you go all the way to the end. So quite a long game, 5 minutes per level, but that's 50 levels. So, well, of course it doesn't have to be 5 levels, uh, 5 minutes could be less, right, there's my timers, usually it's less. But if you count 5 minutes per level, that would be like 4 hours probably, the whole game, maybe a bit more. Uh, so, you know, if you really see to it, if you really grind it, it might not be very long, but it's playable for what it is. Those games are very consistent. They do the same thing, they do it quite okay. Not very long, but you can treat it as a big package of puzzles. A few hours of gameplay per game, and then you move to another game which does the same, but just more of it. So if you like it, there is definitely a lot of gameplay to be uh, Mm, gained here, especially if you collect all the games from the series. Uh, I absolutely recommend to get it on sales because then you can get some money uh, back. Well, uh, you just don't spend as much money and then you can sell the cards. So if you grab all those games on sale, you can be spending much, much less for the whole series. I'm not so sure if they are sold in the package, but I saw lots of them on sales. And then, of course, if you sell cards, you regain even more money, so they may not be very expensive if you uh, buy in a smart way. Uh, this isn't generally the thing I play. I don't generally play short, simple uh, like games for kids, which are just colorful and fast. Um, they are mostly just puzzles with some clicking. That's just not my style, not my genre, but I admit this is done pretty well for what it is. It's just not very long really, because, you know, five minutes per level, uh, a game that's four hours, even if it's six hours, even if, even if it's eight hours, it's still not much for your money, right? But, you know, if you spend a dollar or two for that, it might be worth it. Depends how you count your money um, against the playing time, of course. Um, I would personally play, uh, pay probably one, maybe two dollars for this game, not more than that. If I was to, you know, get some money back in form of entertainment. 
but I cannot really say it's bad. I can't say anything is done badly here. It does work for what it is. It's no, not more than that. It's just what you have seen that the whole gameplay you have with maybe a little bit of, you know, different objectives and maybe more complex levels and stuff like that. But the general idea is very similar. Uh, I can only recommend Archimedes as the best game from those, from what I've played so far. Uh, the Alicia game is a bit different um, setup. It's more like kind of Indiana Jones uh, theme than the uh, ancient Greece. Uh, Archimedes is also ancient Greece, but uh, it's more um, into management and less into uh, arcade side. But it's generally the same idea, the same way you do stuff. It's just that there is. Uh, uh, buildings that generate resources over time, there's much more of them, they're also here, but uh, sometimes in Archimedes you only have buildings, you just wait until they generate resources, and sometimes you have to sell and destroy them and buy other ones using the resources, so it's more like uh, micromanaging um, production than just clicking in a right sequence, so I prefer that one uh, to, to this part, but uh, they are quite similar. Uh, so how much I can give it? I would say it's uh, I would say six out of ten. It's a quite average game, but it's okay with content. It's okay with the uh, playing time because the, you know 50 levels is not bad for a puzzle game. It's kind of a puzzle game, and it's done in a proper way. Nothing is bad here. It's not you know game breaking, but uh, it's an okay work like. Um, you can say artisan job, just average good work. So yeah, for a puzzle game for kids, sure we can grab it. Why not? It's not negative in any sense, but it's not also not something that you would uh, sink hundreds of hours or even ten hours, maybe probably it's less than that. It's just a few hours of puzzling and that's it. So could be satisfying, could be fun, uh, could be a time killer, but it's just what it is. It's just what what you have seen uh, and. All those games from the series are very much like it, especially the Hercules games, they're very similar. Uh, Alicia Quarterman is also very similar. Archimedes is slightly different, but it's again the same genre. There's also more games like that on Steam generally. I've seen very similar games with very similar engine. I'm not sure they are by the same company, but they're using very similar idea. So if you like this uh, type of gameplay, you will find more of them, not just one game. There's pr probably like more than 10 games like that, uh, very similar, so you can treat it as DLC and just grab them on sale. So yeah, that was uh, 12 Labors of Hercules, part 7, Fleecing the Fleece, uh, 6 out of 10, positive review of course, a slight recommendation if you are into this and if you don't overpay, and I will see you guys in the next review.